to God be the glory, great things He has done. Allahu Akbar. I am most grateful to the Upper East Regional House of Chiefs. Paddy Tundini Adeli, the Queen Mother's Regional Minister, MPs, students and staff of the University of Ghana, the Catholic Church, Greater House Chapel, Tim Wedaga, my family and friends, Atula BC. Thank you so much for your support. To all those that believe in the Dream Wedaga, I say I am most grateful for your prayers and your votes. Please keep voting to keep me in the competition as we draw near the finals. When I was in junior high one, I lost a senior to unsafe abortion. And this was as a result of her inadequate information in relation to her sexuality. I am very passionate about educating people in relation to their sexuality. Tonight, I will be educating you on the tourist attraction sites in the Upper East region. You know when it comes to Upper East, you know the Upper East region is the region of sunshine and of rocks. You know, right? Just stay tuned as I take you through this journey. Please keep voting whether that to the short code star 713 star 13 hash or you download the TV3 reality app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. I am most grateful. Thank you so much. I can't let it there. Mposia Zuzu, Mposia Baraka, Manya Janta, Nagodi. Way Daga is clothed by Ryder One Couture, with hair by Best and More Limited. Ladies well groomed by African American Beauty Academy, inspiring beauty beyond borders. Accessories by Magdal Couture. <laughs> wondered why we are known as the Upper East Region? It is because we have an upper hand in everything that we do. Dancing, we are the best. Music, no sides. Fashion, we are the gods of it. Food, we are the experts. Lest I forget, tourism, we are number one. Do you want to eat proper tuazafi made from millet? Then, board a plane to Accra. And from Accra, board the bus to the Upper East Region. It will take you only 9 hours, 30 minutes to get there. Or, board a plane from Accra to Tamale. And from Tamale, board the bus to the Upper East Region. And it will take you only 4 hours to get there. Our food is prepared by our beautiful maidens, whose beauty emanates from the skies. Our hair is very healthy and glowing. This is as a result of the rice that we consume from the Subisi River Valley that provides us with protein and makes our hair very long. Our skin is very smooth and free from minor erosions as a result of the undiluted soaps and creams that we apply to our body. Our sheer butter, coupled with our granite oil, provides our skin with the requisite vitamins. Auntie Jane, I can see that you love to keep your hair in a natural state. Try our shea butter with our granite oil coupled with our local rice. And I can assure you that you will start seeing results in less than a day. Remember that I told you that we are the gods of fashion. Inspired by our freshly brewed pito, our energetic men are able to come up with designs of our beautiful fugu. Our chiefs adorn themselves in three smokes to depict greatness. Mama, this is for you. Do you want proper tomatoes? Come with me to Navrungu. Even Lavonce comes to us for production. Do you want to see a live snake? Come with me to the Jafiri Royal Sanctuary where you would see beautiful and harmless pythons. The Azores Hills is where you can also come to to have fun. Uncle Fritz, Angibody, I know you are staunch Christians who would love to have deeper connection with the creator. Come with me to the Azoti Hill. And do you know one intriguing aspect about this hill? Smoke emanates from it and it smells just like perfume. You can also come there to have fun. Do you think that it is only in Southern Ghana that we have slave camps? The Picora slave camp at Paga was where our ancestors were captured, tortured and sold out to the Dutch, English and the French. And do you think that it is only in Southern Ghana that natural resources are extracted for the country? The Azuma and Namdini mines in the Upper East region are places where gold and diamond is extracted. The Sirigo Portrait and Art Center is where these beautiful artifacts are 
are made. Our housing is one unique aspect about us that can never be overlooked. The Navrongo Minor Basilica, Our Lady of Seven Sorrows, celebrated its 100 years of existence yesterday as a result of the local mud and the straw that was used to build it. We are known for our hospitable nature. No wonder when you exchange pleasantries with us, we tell you, dear ma, which means only food. To depict that, the hustle is real, but we all go reach one a destination. And to tell you that we are people that believe in the one Ghana agenda. So we are one people. Festivals celebrated by my people include the Fio Festival, Gologo, Sekulan Panga. We are known as the lovers of education. No wonder Notre Dame and UDS is situated in my region with great personalities like Justice Tatuguba, Manas Azuri, King David, many others, and my beautiful self over here. Are you looking for grounds to start up a business? Search no further. Come to the Upper East region. You know that. That's all your four minutes will allow you. Wedaga from the Upper East region. Let's head to the judges right now. Jigwadi, you're shaking your head, but I noticed you almost didn't blink during her presentation. What would you say to Wedaga this evening? Wedaga, <clears throat> actually, you had me hooked from the first, from the first word. I said something earlier that you have to sell you. People have to buy you because you represent the region. You, you put in the elements of true speech, starting with a question, have you ever wanted? You integrated people. You asked questions to myself. You, you even mentioned names. One thing I missed, I wanted, because you did it so well in the previous session, was the festivals, because you were you are, you are particular. I continue to say that you represent, I mean, you represent your region in a way where your region, in no matter how this competition turns out, they must be proud of you because you've really represented and sold the region Thank in you. the entire show. Thank you. Finally, I, like I said, the only thing I missed was festivals. Finally, I want to say that there was some, there was an element of you which today made good for you. You speak very fast, but you are able to be authentic and heard and today you utilize that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> she so was I must say that for me, what I was looking for, I found in Wedaga today. Okay. So Jigwadi, no, no, stay, stay there. Jigwadi found what she was looking for in Wedaga tonight. Honorable, did you find same or otherwise? I would say yes, she was very captivating. And uh, you sold the region, you made it personal and that is what I said at the introduction there was passion thank so if you don't know anything about Upper East we had it from you thank and you. you keep it up and you go places passion to sell the nation of course Wadaga please come close to me Tonight is very crucial to keep the young lady in the competition, star 713, star 13, add her name, Wadaga, to keep her in the competition. You really have shown something <laughs> this evening. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. So I'm about to move on further to test your intellect about Ghana and the rest of Africa. Are you ready? I am ready. Please pick a question and I'll read it out loud. Oh, did you just look at your question? No. <laughs> Okay, Wadaga, please listen with rapt attention as I read out your question. Now, the year 2022 would mark 30 years since Ghana's fourth Republican constitution took effect. What, in your view, are the top achievements and failures during the three decades of governance in the fourth Republican era? Thank you very much for that question. First of all, what is a constitution? Constitution refers to the legal framework that governs the affairs of a country. Ghana has achieved a lot through her fourth republic. Some of her achievements and failures words include, firstly, this has been the longest democratic era that government, that the country has been faced with. Secondly, corruption and poverty. Firstly, the longest democratic era we have ever been faced with. The Fourth Republic is, has marked 30 years of our independence. 
And Ghana is known as the beacon of hope of democracy for Africa, not because Ghana has just been a country, but as a result of the muck Ghana has left. Ghana has gone through peaceful transition of political power. Ghana has even gotten to the extent where political power has been contested for in court. And we have strived through it peacefully, which shows that Ghana is a country that must be applauded for. The respect of freedom and rights have been observed in this era. There is also the freedom of speech, most especially for the media, who serve as the mouthpiece of the citizenry. They have been able to constructively criticize government in order to promote development in the country. Secondly, corruption. In as much as Ghana has achieved a lot in her fourth Republican era, one of our biggest failures is corruption. According to Transparency Index, Ghana was 75th out of 180 countries in terms of corruption. And this is something we should not be happy about. I believe that government should have, should have laid down principles that will deter people that engage themselves in corrupt acts in order to prevent others from getting into acts like that. And it will go a long way to enhance development in the country. Thirdly, poverty. There is a popular cliche that says that a hungry man is an angry man. True to these words, poverty drives people to do things that they do not want to do. It is sad to realize that in this day and age, children as early as 13 years are searching for money and the quest and drive for money is very bad. For instance, the issue that happened in Kaswa where young children were, were engaged in practices of murder just to make money. This is something that we should empower the youth on. Yes, the government has done very well and should be applauded on the free education program, which I believe is promoting education in the country. So I believe that the three achievements and field words that the country has choked includes the longest democratic era, corruption, and poverty. Thank you. Wadaga from the Upper East region. <laughs> Judges. Do you by any chance have any follow-up questions? No follow-up questions. Please, a round of applause for Wadaga one more time. Wadaga, thank you so much.